a very warm welcome to tech mining. Jasper Reports is the world's most popular open source reporting tool. Written in Java, the tool enables you to use data coming from any kind of data source and produce pixel-perfect documents that can be viewed, printed, or exported in a variety of document formats including PDF, HTML, Excel, OpenOffice and RTF. In this video, you will be provided step-by-step -step instructions on creating a local environment on your own PC and use TIBCO Jasper Studio 6.20 for designing your reports. These are the five prerequisites for this exercise. If you do not already have these software set up on your PC, then watch the video provided in the info link above and create the local environment first. In this tutorial, we are going to create a customer invoice report. For this, we will be using four database tables. If you want to follow along, then click the video link provided in the info box above to create these tables prior to proceeding with this tutorial. We will be using these tables prefixed with demo. Now let's get started with the Jasper report integration. First, you have to download a piece of software called Jasper Reports Integration Kit. The download link for this kit is provided in the video description. Jasper Reports Integration provides an interface to use the Jasper Reports reporting engine in an Oracle database application, specifically with Oracle Apex. Go to this GitHub site. And download this zip file. Now execute these steps to install the J2EE application and configure the data sources. J2EE stands for Java 2 Platform, Enterprise Edition. The J2EE application has to find various configuration files application.properties and log 4 j 2xml files in the configuration folder and also the reports that we can run in the reports folder. For example, test.jasper is a report that we will use to test this installation. Create a folder named app and then create a subfolder named Jasper Reports Integration under the app folder. If you already have the app folder, then just create the Jasper Reports Integration subfolder. Copy the downloaded Jasper Reports Integration Kit zip file to the subfolder. And extract it. These are the folders that are extracted from the zip file. If you don't see the logs folder, Create it. Next, set the configuration directory directly in the jri.war file using a command. Open a command prompt. Switch to the bin folder under the Jasper Reports integration subfolder and execute this command. Execute this command on the same bin prompt to determine the configuration directory. In the following steps, you will configure your database access. Switch to the configuration folder in the Jasper Reports integration subfolder. Edit the file application.properties. Configure the data source default to connect to your Oracle schema. Note that the SCM schema was created in the previous video. See the info box above. Now deploy the J2EE application by copying the file jri.war from Jasper Reports Integration Web App Directory to the Tomcat Web Apps Directory. Open the services interface. Stop and then restart Tomcat services. Apache Tomcat was also installed in the previous video. See the info box above. Open your browser. And enter this URL to access the Jasper Reports integration homepage and test the installation.
The test report is called from this reports folder. You have to place all the reports with .jasper extension in this folder. Open a command prompt. Switch to the SQL folder in the Jasper Reports Integration subfolder. Connect SQL plus Assys. Set container using this command. Run the installation script and pass the name of the target application schema as a parameter. If you are installing on an Oracle release 11.0 and higher, you have to grant the required network privileges to the application schema. Since we have Oracle 21C, we will execute this script. Press the Enter key to continue. Exit SQL Plus On the SQL subfolder prompt, change encoding to Unicode for the SQL files using this set command. Connect as the application schema. Run this database installation script. Now download and install Jaspersoft Studio. With Jaspersoft Studio you can build documents of any complexity from your data, from print ready in PDFs to interactive masterpieces in dynamic HTML. For this exercise, we downloaded and installed version 6.20.1 of Jasper Studio using this executable file. After downloading, launch the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install Jasper Studio. After configuring the local environment, you are ready to create reports in Jasper Studio. These are the three steps involved in creating Jasper reports and integrating them with Oracle Apex. Let's create a connection to the data source. Launch Jasper Studio. In Jasper Studio, create a new data adapter. The first screen of the data adapter wizard will appear. On this screen you will see a folder named My Reports. This is the folder where the data adapter file and reports will be stored. And this folder is usually created in the user's folder. The data adapter file contains JDBC data adapter class, name, driver, username, password, and other connection information. Enter a name for the data adapter file. On the second wizard screen, select Database JDBC Connection. On Database JDBC Connection page, enter a suitable name for the connection. Select Oracle JDBC Driver from the JDBC Driver list. Then, enter JDBC URL which points to your local pluggable database and port. Enter your database schema and password. Click the Driver Class Path tab. Click the Add button. In the Open dialog box, select the OJDBC8 file.
On the database JDBC Connection Wizard page, click the test button. If everything is OK, you will see a dialog box displaying successful. Click OK and then finish to complete this process. After establishing the connection with the database, let's create a report in Jasper Studio. Create a new Jasper report from the main Studio menu. On the Report Templates Wizard screen, select this blank A4 option. Enter invoice.jrxml for the report name. On Data Source screen, Select the data adapter you created for this exercise from the data adapter list. This is the schema you are currently connected with. Enter this SQL query on the Texts tab. The query will fetch data from the SCM schema for the invoice report. The query is available in the video description. Select all the fields to include them in the invoice report. Skip the group by screen. And click finish to complete the report creation process. This is the report design interface. Click the Dataset and Query Editor dialog icon. Double click this Oracle SQL Timestamp entry under Class Type and change it to Java SQL Timestamp using the drop down list. While executing this step, make sure that the SCM data adapter is selected. In the main report design area, click the title band, and press the delete button on your keyboard to remove this band from the report. Repeat this action to remove column header, column footer, and summary bands, because our report doesn't need these bands. Now right click the root invoice report node and select create group from the context menu. In the group dialog box, Enter invoice ID for group name. Select the create group from a report object option. Select invoice ID column in the report objects columns list, and click finish. Two new header and footer bands will be added to the design area. The final look of the design area should be like this. Click the Invoice ID Group Header Band in the Design Area. Place a check mark in Start New Page Property in the Properties pane. Do same for Invoice ID Group Footer Band. This check will ensure that each invoice will print on a new page. After this, Delete the group header by selecting it in the design area and pressing the delete button on your keyboard. The band is removed because this band will not contain any object. Do not delete the group footer band. Note that when you delete a band, it does vanishes from the design area, but it exists in the outline pane and you can restore it if needed using this add header band option. From the outline pane to your left, expand the fields node. Drag and drop the invoice ID column to the page header section in the design area. In the text field wizard dialog, select no calculation function, and click finish. The field will be added to the page header section. Repeat this step to place invoice date, customer, address, city, and postal code fields in the page header section.
Now place the product field in the detail band. When you drop a field in the detail band, the corresponding heading of the field is also dropped there. Move the column heading to the page header section. Repeat this process for the price, quantity, and amount fields. Align the top edges of the four fields. To add invoice totals, drag and drop the quantity field in the invoice ID group footer band. For calculation type, select the sum function and click finish. Repeat this step to display sum for the amount field as well. In the outline pane, Right-click the Parameters node, and select Create Parameter from the Context menu. A new parameter, Parameter 1, will be added. In the Properties pane, enter From Date for the parameter name. Repeat this step to add three more parameters named to date, from number, and to number. These parameters will allow you to print specific invoices created on specific dates. Arrange the parameters in this order. Click the Dataset and Query Editor dialog icon and add these additional conditions in the existing WHERE clause to incorporate the four parameters. Click the Preview tab. Enter dates and invoice numbers in the Input Parameters dialog box. Click the Run button to see the invoice report in action. Click the save icon or press Ctrl S to save your report. We adorned the report with some cosmetic work like this using the tools provided in the right pane. The headings are created using this static text tool. Fonts and alignments are applied using this ribbon and properties in the property pane. The line is added using this line tool. The back color property is used to apply this background color to the static text items.
applied a format to the invoice date field using the pattern property. Applied thousand separator to the amount field. Switch back to the design view. Click the compile report icon. A compiled version of the report named invoice.jasper will be created in the folder where the actual report file invoice.jrxml is saved. The report is ready to be integrated with Oracle Apex. So close Jasper Studio and execute the instructions provided in the next section. After creating and compiling your report in Jasper Studio, your next move is to place the compiled version of the report file to an appropriate location and integrate it in your Apex application. Copy the compiled report invoice.jasper to the Tomcat server. Sign into your Apex workspace. We created this invoice page to print invoices using the invoice report. Added four page items to receive values for the report parameters. The from date and to date page items are date picker. They will receive date in this format. The from number and to number are text items and these items will receive a range of invoice numbers. This button will be used to submit the print request. And this process will connect your Jasper server and pass report parameters. Locate this code in the video description. Everything is set. Now run the page to test your work. If you encounter this JSON error, then switch back to the design area. Click the root node of the page. In the properties pane, scroll down to the advanced section and set this reload on submit property to always. Click save and reload the page. And there you are with the invoice report appearing on your screen. That's it for now. Stay tuned to Tech Mining to have more videos like this. Thank you for watching.